Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use motion tracking in Filmora 10. So well, with motion tracking, you can create different kind of video. Uh, by the way, uh, in this tutorial, I will show you how to create the same, the, uh, the same video effect like what you have just seen at the beginning of this tutorial, which is Filmora 10, okay? So first, first thing first, you need to learn the basic first. So I will show the, the basic about motion tracking in Filmora 10. Okay, let's jump into the software. Uh, and here I am in Filmora 10. Uh, so you see that uh, this is a timeline, a example timeline. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So I have a video, only one video, well, one video with motion uh, track, uh, motion tracking feature enabled, and. Uh, I have a, another track here uh, with the eyeballs, uh, so energy eyeball or something like that uh, on my eyes, on my uh, on one of my eyes, uh, and that's all. And all the other is uh, here. I have one motion track, one motion track, two motion track, three. So that's the trick I, I use to create this um, video effect because I use motion tracking in the first video and then I uh, attach uh, this one, uh, this title. To that video, and then I export it, and then I bring it back to Filmora uh, Filmora 10, and then I enable the motion tracking again, and then I add this uh, cloud face, uh, the face of the cloud, uh, to that video, and then I export it, and then I bring it back to Filmora 10. So I do it again and again. So for all other elements uh, inside uh, inside Filmora 10, because yeah, you know that uh, the motion tracking feature in Filmora 10 only allow you to uh, to attach uh, one element on the timeline so uh, let's do this uh, let me uh, delete everything on the timeline and now to start using motion tracking the first thing you need to drag and drop uh, your footage onto the timeline uh, the footage that has something that you want to uh, apply motion tracking effect okay uh, let's drag and drop this clip on the timeline for example so this is just a clip of me uh, sitting in front of the camera and uh, shaking my head. Uh, let's play it. Okay, so we uh, we can uh, trim this uh, this clip at this position. So let's split it and delete the beginning of the clip when I turn on my camera. So okay, so I'll do it fast and then okay, shake my head, uh, shake my head and move my head. Okay, so I'm going to stop at this position. Okay, uh, stop at this position where. Okay, I'm going to uh, cut uh, the clip at this position. I keep only uh, four seconds, so keep it short, because uh, we when we do uh, when we enable motion tracking feature in Filmora uh, 10 if the program cannot track the subject uh, maybe uh, for example it cannot track my face then i have to adjust it manually so keep it short so just make the short tutorial okay and now uh, to enable the motion tracking you can have two two options the first option you can uh, select the clip and then you click on this button okay uh, this is the first option i'm sorry three option and the second way you can double click on the clip and then uh, go to the video tab here and then enable the motion tracking here uh, you can check this box right and that is uh, the second way and the other way you can uh, right click on right click on the clip and then you select motion tracking at the drop uh, pop-up menu okay let's select the motion tracking so now uh, we have an, uh, this motion tracking enabled and uh, we have a rectangular shape here uh, we, uh, we will be used uh, to collect tracking data so this is very important uh, even uh, even in other video editor uh, to collect tracking data before attaching uh, attaching anything uh, to that clip uh, tracking data is very important so if the program can finish uh, finish collecting uh, tracking data then we don't need to adjust anything but if it cannot finish the job, so we have to adjust uh, the adjust the and um, the tracking data manually in some point. I mean, in some uh, some keyframe. 
Okay, so here uh, we need to find a, a position where we want to track. So the ideal solution is find something that is in focus and uh, high in highest uh, sharpness. Sharpness, yes. So for example, if I want to track my face, then uh, let. But uh, remember to put the playhead at the beginning of the clip to where you want to track. Here, for example. Uh, if I want to track my face, it's in, uh, it is easy. Just uh, drag and uh, drag this box like this, so it will start uh, tracking my face. But remember, if we want to track something smaller, then we uh, need to resize, resize the box. And for example, in this time, in this example, I want to track my eye, my eye. And uh, remember, where you put this little dot uh, at the center. If I want to put it in my at my eyes position, then I I need to remember that, and you you should remember that also. Uh, I will tell you why um, later. Okay. And now when you have your box in the position, uh, you can click this button to start tracking, and you can also turn on and turn off, turn turn this box on and off here uh, by click uh, on this eye button. Okay. Let's uh, open it. Uh, and turn it on okay and now we uh, click on this button to start tracking and uh, let's click on that so okay so now the program finished uh, finished checking my my eyes by the way it is not perfect because uh, you know that when I move my uh, my head I I try to move it uh, a little bit uh, too fast, so I uh, there's there is motion blur on my in my eyes, so the program cannot track that because that I did it on purpose. Uh, so you see here, we uh, we can we now have the tracking data here. So it uh, there's a, a cyan cyan color on top of your clip here, showing that the tech tracking data uh, data has uh, has been collected by Filmora 10. Okay. And now we can play the clip uh, to see where where is the box uh, here if it is follow my eyes or not okay let's play it you see that at this position the box just uh, cannot track um, cannot track my eyes so we need to adjust manually uh, at this position uh, let's go back about few frames I'll go back not this position but this Yeah, at this position, starting from here, starting from here, the program cannot track my eyes. Okay, uh, so let's move forward. One frame, two frame, three, four, five. So let's go back. Then we need to adjust this box. Uh, this is the reason why I. Uh, this is the reason why I tell you to remember the uh, this small box where you put this small box uh, on my eyes. So. Uh, when we adjust the box, Filmora 10 will create a new keyframe here. So you see little red dot button here on the on your video clip, and then you go forward one frame. Yeah, and then you adjust it again. Just make sure that you put this little dot at the center, so uh, at your eyes position at the beginning. So keep doing that. So you need to do this again and again until you finish. I will fast forward this part to save your time, okay? A few moments later. Okay, so this is the tracking data when I finish uh, adjusting manually. Uh, let's play it to see. Play it. All right, so it track um, it track my eyes perfectly. And uh, remember, here is a manually uh, all this keyframe, all this keyframe. Uh, I did it manually, so I adjust it. So it's a time-consuming uh, process. And now we can attach anything to this um, uh, text, image, uh, video, and um, effect and elements uh, on all other stuff. Okay. Uh, but before doing that, you need to uh, to uh, drag and drop it onto the timeline. So I'm going to uh, drag and drop my first uh, is a text. Uh, Go to title. Uh, then I will use this one. It's a 3D text uh, template I create. So I will put it at the beginning of the timeline, 
and then I shorten it uh, to be the same length with the, uh, the clip and then I want to move it to here but by the way I, this is a 3d text so there's two layer on the text so I need to use this title group controller to move it and let's press ctrl Z and now I can adjust the position yeah to make it and now uh, I can close this one so uh, we need to double click on the uh, on the clip uh, that will enable motion tracking again uh, double click on that and then we select this drop down menu now we have a 3d text template here we just select it and here is the motion tracking the first the first one let's play it so this uh, this text, uh, you see that this text uh, follow the movement of my eye. Okay, so that is the first motion tracking video. Now we can export it and then bring it back to Filmora, enable the motion tracking, and attach a new element to to that clip uh, like this. Uh, let's export this one. Export and go to setting, and I'm going to uh, export. Uh, at full HD resolution and frame rate 24 frames per second and bit rate I keep it 20,000 kbps okay and click OK and now I can put it MT1 motion tracking 1 okay and click export okay and then click file target I, I just want to file it on my uh, computer and then I bring it back to uh, back to Filmora Okay, so this is the MT1, and then I just drag and drop it into the timeline. Drop it on the timeline, I'm sorry. And then I can delete the old one. Okay, this is the, the old one, and delete it. And then uh, we now need to enable motion tracking on this clip, and then we can double click and then enable motion tracking. But this time uh, we will adjust the box, this box, to the, to the text. Okay, so the text, um, the text will be in focus, of course, because I just added at a second layer to my video. Uh, so we put the playhead at the beginning of the the clip, and then we attach to this, and then uh, we can uh, click on this button to start uh, tracking. Okay, uh, all right, so it's done. So we uh, we have. Uh, the tracking data here and then uh, we can click OK and then we go back to uh, to the other feature here and then I, I will add an elements on this click on the elements and here we have the uh, the word the word wow okay and let's drag and drop it onto the timeline and then I will scale it down to to make it smaller to make the word smaller here uh, it's too big uh, I want to make it smaller like like this and I will put it uh, at this position okay uh, to be smaller like this and then uh, I will uh, double click on the on the clip again on the video clip and then select the drop down menu again and wow okay so this is a second motion tracking video So I, I did the same trick uh, with other motion tracking video to create uh, create the the, the video uh, you see uh, you see at the beginning of this tutorial. Okay, so that is how you can use motion tracking in Filmora 10. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy making video with Filmora 10. Bye and see you again.